everybody, my name is Tina Sparkles. I'm here in my sewing studio in Austin, Texas, and today I'm going to be showing you how to sew up the ultra mini skirt. Ultra mini skirt, ultra mini skirt, ultra mini skirt. The ultra mini skirt is a project from my upcoming book, Little Green Dresses. You are listening to Big Face. At this point, you should have two rectangular pattern pieces, the front skirt and the back skirt. Each of these pattern pieces represents one fourth of the body, so they need to be cut on a lengthwise fold of fabric. To find the lengthwise direction in your fabric, look for the selvage edge, which runs parallel to the lengthwise direction. When recycling or repurposing fabric, you probably won't have a selvage to guide you. So gently tug on your fabric along the straight grain in each direction to determine which one feels stronger. Then fold your fabric so that the fold is parallel to the stronger direction. Place your front pattern piece on top of the fabric with the center front edge right on top of the fold. Pin the pattern in place, making sure to keep everything nice and flat on the table and make sure your pins don't hang outside of the pattern edges. Then cut out the pattern along all of the edges except the center front folded edge. Again, make sure everything stays as flat as possible on the table. Clip inward at your side seam notches by one quarter of an inch. Remove the pattern piece and unfold the fabric to reveal the whole front skirt. Repeat this whole process to cut out the back piece. Hooray! We're done with step number one. Okay, it's time to get back to business. With the right sides of the fabric facing each other, put the front skirt piece on top of the back skirt piece, lining up the side seams. Locate the notches and match them up to begin pinning the side seams together. Keep everything flat on the table and place your pins perpendicular to the side seams so they're easy to remove when it's time to start sewing. When you're done with one side seam, repeat the process for the other side seam. Using an everyday straight stitch, sew the side seams together with a one half inch seam allowance. Use the guides on your throat plate to make sure your seam is nice and even. Don't forget to backstitch at the starting and ending points of the seam and stop to remove your pins along the way. Okay. Slip your skirt over the ironing board and press open each of the seams. To keep the fabric edges from fraying, clean finish your seams with pinking shears, a rotary cutter, or a serger. The next step is also at the ironing board. Use a seam gauge to measure, fold, and press the upper skirt edge inward by one half inch. Go all the way around the entire skirt and then fold the upper edge inward again by three quarters of an inch and then pin it in place. Stitch the fold down along the inner folded edge. Stitch all the way around the entire skirt, but make sure to leave one inch of the casing unstitched so that you can insert elastic into the casing later on. Use the slit in your presser foot or the throat plate guides to help you edge stitch nice and straight. Now here's a spot where I'm leaving a one inch gap. Woo woo! We're more than halfway there! Attach safety pins to both ends of your elastic and mark the same side of each end with a marker or pencil. Then insert one end of the elastic into the gap in your casing and use the safety pin to thread it all the way around and through the tunnel. Overlap the ends of the elastic by a half inch and use the markings on the elastic to make sure it didn't get twisted. Stitch the ends together securely by stitching back and forth a bunch of times. To close up the gap in the casing, Pull the elastic straight and taut while you sew along the inner folded edge. Try not to stitch on the elastic and make sure to back stitch when you start and stop. The last step is to stitch up the hem on the lower edge. 
Hemming the bottom edge is almost exactly like what we did for the upper casing edge. You'll fold and press the entire bottom skirt edge inward by one half inch. Once you've gone all the way around, you'll fold and press again, this time by one inch, and then pin it in place. And finally, you'll stitch the hem in place along the inner folded edge all the way around the entire skirt. Wow, that was easy! You are listening to Big Face.